Oh, hi. Hey guys, what's up? It's Denora here with Denora TV. I wanted to share a secret with you guys. A secret that I was just let in on very recently. Possibly one of the best kept secrets in the world. It's all about deodorant. Now, I like deodorant because I don't like to be funky. I don't like to be around funky people. If you can't help it, that's one thing. Completely different situation. But if you have a choice, you need to take care of your business. Okay? So, quick history. Things I've tried. Dove. Loved it. This bottle you're not going to find in the US. I think this one is from uh, Europe. But either way, this is what I was able to purchase while I was there. Dove smells great to me. To my husband, he hated it. So, wasn't going to keep that around. Next, I moved on to Crystal Essence. I, in the past, have used the actual Crystal Stick. And it was fine for a time, but after a while, my armpits just beat the heck out of it. They just, they win. My pits win. So Crystal Essence worked pretty well, not the best thing I've ever tried, so that had to go away. Then I went online and I found out about rubbing alcohol as deodorant. My sister uses it, loves it, she's got very sensitive skin so she can't handle a lot of the chemicals that are in most deodorants. So I said, well if it works for her, maybe it'll work for me. It didn't. I was very sweaty and uh, never really had a problem with sweating before but for some reason with the rubbing alcohol you know it's just your pits get wet it's not supposed to be humid here but I was humid all the time so not so much for me then I started finding recipes for do-it-yourself deodorant and I decided to try and make my own and it was terrible the worst thing I could have ever done to my poor armpits it burned the heck out of my skin, like full-on chemical burns under my armpits, dark, dark circles. Not necessarily because of the recipe, because I, I didn't actually write down the recipe. I saw it online and figured I get the general idea and I made my own and it's poisonous. So I kept it around because maybe scientists will find some use for it later on down the line. But my recommendation to you is, if you're going to make your own deodorant, follow the recipe. And the piece de resistance. I finally found the most perfect deodorant. Drum roll, do your own drum roll. Get it, do it. Lemon! Did you, I didn't, I didn't know, but how, lemon is amazing. I've been using it for going on three months now. I don't go around talking about it, but I figured it saves money. I'm not putting tons of chemicals on my skin and I think I smell great. I wish I had smell a vision so you can come on over here and just get a whiff because it's nice. It really, I mean, lemony fresh, it's not just for your floors anymore. <laughs> I should try to market that. Anyhow, okay, so lemon. All I do is I take one lemon and I slice off little thin slice and I use that slice, wipe it under both armpits after my shower and then I throw it away. Also, I put it in a spray bottle so that I can keep it nice and cold in the fridge. So I juice the lemon. This holds probably about two full lemons worth of juice. And then I add a little bit of water just to kind of thin it out so it doesn't have to be quite so potent. And even thinned out, it's remarkable. So, lemon, amazing deodorant. I hope you guys try it. Some people like lime, I tried lime, not a fan. Lemon works for me. I hope this helps you. Leave a comment below if you've already tried this, if you've tried any of the products I've listed, and also if you've come up with a recipe for your own deodorant that actually works, please post it below so that the rest of the viewers or family members of mine can check it out. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching! Subscribe and click like and all of the things you're supposed to do. See you later. I'm gonna...
I'm gonna just keep. That's nice. It's real nice. Real nice. 